Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, I got a request on my main channel uh, to explain how I did an effect, and I'm just gonna show you uh, the the explosion at the end is what they were wondering about. But I want to show you, just give you a little run into it. Uh, so, here we go. This is the video that it came from. Uh, a video called "Video Games in Real Life," extremely creative name, uh, and you can click the video at any time to go and check the, like the whole thing out on my other channel. So, check this out. This is the scene right here that they requested a tutorial on. Okay, so uh, you can watch the rest of the video on my channel if you want, but that's what I'm going to show you. That last little uh, scene with the jet is what I'm going to try to explain how I did. It literally took me six hours to um, get it right. It, it's really complicated, but... Um, I mean, well, it's not, it's not that complicated, it's just that there are a million things going on. So, uh, let me see. Uh, the first, uh, let me see. This, this is the, uh, I have a ton of pre-comps, which makes it confusing. Um, okay. These are just sound effects for, like, the jet and the explosion. Um, this, let me see, what is that? Oh, yes, that is a little vignette I added on the sides, uh, to make it look nice. Uh, very, uh, subtle adjustment. This... Yeah, that's the main footage. Um, oh, and this adjustment layer, this is the color correction. It looked like that without the color correction, and like that with the color correction. So that, I thought, was pretty good. So in here, uh, we have the same thing without the color correction or the vignette or the sound effects or anything like that. Um, and let me see what we have here. Okay, I believe all of this is relating to the explosion. So if I go through that slowly, page down, page down, page down. Oh, wait, let me set this little bit lower quality. Um, I'll do half, just, just so that it'll go faster. Um, okay, so what I have here, um, I did the jet in uh, Element 3D by Video Copilot. Um, so yeah, basically I just downloaded a model of the jet and I did, I spent so long trying to get the path exactly right of the jet. That, that Literally, that's what I spent three of those hours, or, or more, more, I think it was three or four hours I spent on the Jet and my friend Jordan, who was the guy in the video, the other guy, he was a huge help. Um, and so, yeah, we got the jet coming in here um, I'll, and then shooting the missiles. Uh, I added a slight blur to the missiles and I believe the jet too, so that they didn't look crystal clear, because if they look crystal clear, then um, it wouldn't have matched the footage and would have looked weird. Uh, also, I had to do color correction on it. So, anyway, they hit the ground right there. Um, I think I did a mask down here to keep them from showing up. And then I have, obviously, right here, like, to just, I'm going to solo these. You can see I've got the, uh, not that one. Let me see, where is it? Dirt charge right there, just starting up. Uh, this little explosion. Um, that dirt charge, that's the main one. That uh, dirt charge, dust wave. Like, all this stuff together, uh, color corrected in the scene. So, you know, go through. An explosion, I used to think an explosion was just the explosion. So I used to think an explosion was just that. And if we just kept that, it would look like this and that. And um, then we need the sky, I guess. But that's that's not right. You need to, when you're making an explosion, you have to do a whole bunch of things. And, um, oh yes, and the glow too, this orange glow. If you turn off the glow, it just looks like that. Uh, uh, adding a glow that gets brighter and then dimmer is a big part of explosions that uh, makes them look good. So, anyway, all these layers are just part of the explosion, so just ignore those. Um, and let me see, this is the branches. Let me turn it off so I can see. Yeah, okay. Um, if I solo it, that this was just a mask around this tree and these branches right here, because I wanted the um, everything else to look like it was behind the tree and the branches. Um, because, you know, if this comes over, I don't want it to go in front of the branches, because then that would obviously show that that wasn't really there. 
Um, okay, so let me see what else. Uh, that was the branches. Let's go to the bottom layer right here. And um, this, obviously, the branches were in the top layer to keep me from being so confused. Um, okay, so this sky, believe it or not, that's fake. Um, if I turn it off, the actual sky was just like white. Um, so I did some uh, sky replacement. Let me solo this so you can see. Or no, this is just the original footage, I guess. And then I stuck the sky on top of that. Um, tree background is that. Okay, that is just the trees. Um, I followed Andrew Kramer's sky replacement tutorial to get the um, most of that out. It's not perfect as you can tell, but the sky is a pretty similar color, so you can't really notice unless you look really closely. You can see a little bit in there. Um, what is this? I've turned off, so I guess I guess that's just the top, but I didn't need that on for some reason. And then this is the jet and uh, missiles, so I guess we could just turn that off. And then we just would have nothing happening, and I'm just running, and nothing at all happens. Uh, except we have a pretty sky. So let me show you my settings in here for this. This was a pain. This was what took me forever. Because um, I'm not good with 3D stuff. Um, okay, so I took Element 3D right here. And basically, I browsed around on free model websites uh, till I was able to find this jet. And um, let me see. Yeah, okay, so this is the jet right here, the one that I downloaded. Um, and then it had uh, these missiles right here. Uh, wait, let me see if you can zoom in. Uh, it had those missiles, and I separated them. Can I, like, turn this? Let me just close it temporarily. Okay, these missiles. I wanted to use these missiles, so I took those missiles, and I set on channel 2, channel 3. Um, close that. Should we want to cancel without saving? Yes. Okay. Um, and then basically, uh, group one, I believe, was the jet. Yeah, group one is the jet. And I had to... Yeah, I see that. Um, basically, I just had to go through and try and make it perfect by changing all these settings. So, if I hit U, you'll see how many... Okay, look at this. Uh, I had to do all of this information... Um, to get the jet to move the way I wanted. And each of these uh, little thingies, you should know, is a change in um, uh, something or other. So, yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> this was, it was a really, really big pain. Um, but, so basically I just had to put the jet in the right spot behind the trees, and then I had to come up uh, and make him come sort of in front of those, but behind these. I think that did that with another um, one of these. Uh, and so, yeah, it comes in. Um, oh, and let me see. Uh, curves was to adjust the color on the jet. Yeah, it's very subtle. And then the blur. Um, you don't have to have the blur. But look, let me show you here when it gets closer. If it's right here, uh, oh, oh, and I turned on motion blur for that too. If I turn off the motion blur, it would just look like this when it came in. And that looks good, but do you see how it looks so much more detailed than anything else in the picture? That's um, what the problem was, so I needed to blur it a little bit and then give it a uh, motion blur so that it would look more real, um, even though it's blurring it. So, yeah. Anyway, and then I just had to do all the settings in Element um, to make the thing change, and you see these values changing as it's going. Um, and it, it was it was unbelievably hard to make it go sort of go down, swoop down, flip up, and then I had to do the paths of the missiles individually too, which was difficult. So, anyway, that is basically what I did, and it took a lot of work, and I'm sorry, I would do a tutorial on this instead of just sort of going over what I did, but it would take way too long, and uh, I just don't really have the time to do that, and so, yeah, basically, you just have to sort of put together a whole bunch of things, like, this is a, got, obviously, using Element 3D, um, sky replacement, color correction, um, but, yeah, in the end, uh, and an explosion, too. Um, but in the end, I got this amazing shot. This is one of the ones I'm most proud of. Um, probably the shot I'm most proud of ever that I've done on my channel. Um, so anyway, yeah. I hope that cleared it up for some of you who were really curious as to how I did it. And, um, yeah. 
if you just I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> okay. Um by the way, on this channel I post tutorials where, you know, like you can actually follow along with me and I will teach you and explain to you in great detail how to do stuff, so you might want to browse my channel for those. And also uh great uh pre keyed video effects. And that means you can just drag it onto your footage and it's already ready to go. You won't even have to key out a green or black background. So that can be extremely useful to um just click on a video that is a video effect on my channel and then click the download link in the description and you'll just go right to Mediafire where you can download it. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye.